Who are the real heroes? And what did Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him say about the real heroes? What are the lessons that we learn from our people in Syria and Turkey? What are the amazing things that we saw during this hard time? Let's answer those questions in this video inshallah. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our people in Syria and Turkey taught the world the best lessons through their patience and faith during the earthquake. During this difficult time, Islam shows its greatness. We saw an old Syrian man stuck in the debris of the earthquake and asking for water to make wudu. He forgot everything and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is deep in his heart. He doesn't want to die and he missed one prayer. Wallahi, he is a real hero. And did you hear about the Turkish woman who refused to go out till they bring her a hijab to cover her hair? She doesn't care for her safety, but she cares for her Lord. <laughs> Wallahi, she is a real hero. I don't know what a person who doesn't pray will say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. And what is the excuse of Muslim women who don't wear hijab? No excuse at all. And what about the young girl who was crying from the pain and saying, I didn't pray for a whole day. And did you see the father hugging his daughter and saying, Alhamdulillah, oh my Lord. He thanks Allah for saving him and his daughter, even though he lost his house, money, and the rest of his family. Wallahi, he is a real hero. Alhamdulillah, in the time of difficulties and in the time of ease, this is exactly what our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us. عَجَبًا لِأَمْرِ الْمُؤْمِنِ إِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلَّهُ خَيْرٍ وَلَيْسَ ذَلِكَ لِأَحَدٍ إِلَّا لِلْمُؤْمِنِ إن أصابته سراء شكر فكان خيرا له وإن أصابته ضراء صبر فكان خيرا له How wonderful is the case of a believer There is a good for him in everything and this is applies only to a believer If prosperity attends him he expresses gratitude to Allah and that is good for him and if adversity befalls him he endures it passionately and that is better for him our people in Syria and Turkey are the real heroes, not those football players, actors, or singers. Our heroes are those who have a strong belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in times of difficulty. They are strong and lofty like strong mountains. Reflect on what happened. There is a big difference between someone who believes in nothing and someone who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who don't believe don't value human life. They claim that after death we will be nothing. Are we germs and insects? How come we will be nothing? However, the believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala believe in the sanctity of the human life. Indeed, we are proud of our Muslim brothers and sisters who left their jobs and businesses and ran from city to city to rescue afflicted people and children. Those who believe that saving someone's life is like saving the whole of the humanity. We're proud of the Muslim countries who assist as much as they could. We're proud of those who raised relief campaigns to help our afflicted people. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says, من نفس عن مؤمن قربة من كرب الدنيا نفس الله عنه قربة من كرب يوم القيامة ومن يسر على معسر يسر الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله في الدنيا والآخرة والله في عون العبد ما كان العبد في عون أخيه
if anyone relieves a Muslim believer from one of the hardships of this worldly life, Allah will relieve him from one of the hardships of the day of resurrection. If anyone makes it easy for the one who is in debt to him, Allah will make it easy for him in this worldly life and in the afterlife. And if anyone conceals the faults of a Muslim, Allah will conceal his faults in the world and in the afterlife. Allah helps his slaves as long as he helps his brother. But who is the winner? The winner is the one who saves the lives of afflicted people and removes their pain. And by the way, the afflicted people will relieve with or without us. However, if you want to win, support them as much as you can. How, How can, can I, I support, support them? them? Support can be provided through donations, physical actions, or any other form of support. Even if you can't do anything, you can say a dua to them. What, what astonished, astonished you the most? most? The most astonishing thing was when a baby was brought out after five days and was fully healthy. <laughs> فكم لله من تدبير أمر طوته عن المشاهدة الغيوب سبحان الله how did he survive five days without food or drink? Who saved him and got him out without even a scratch? He is Allah, al Latif. He is Allah, the most kind. In this hard time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us the true heroes among us. Our brothers and sisters who are patient and steadfast in their faith. Our Muslim nation has proven to be the best in the world. O oh Allah, have mercy on their dead, heal their patients, reassure their hearts, and protect them and all Muslim countries. O oh Allah, forgive me, my parents, and the believers when the Day of Judgment will be established. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.